everybody, it's Flair. I had a request earlier about how to ignore bots for particular actions in StreamerBot. And I put together a an action that you can use as a sub action in your other things to ignore any of a list of bots based on a, a trigger or an event that occurs or whatever. You have an action that runs and you only want it to run for actual people instead of all the bots that are in your channel. In my case, I have a lot of, I've got ButtsBot, I've got Stream Elements, I've got Pokemon Community Game, etc. There's this whole list of bots and I have that list in a text file in my data directory inside of the streamer bot folder got streamer bot monster cat butts bot pokemon community game sound alerts sari so these are the bots that we don't want to trigger commands or events or whatever when we want to use this action so then i put together an action called iBreak for bots that basically just takes the user that committed the action they ran a command they did a channel point redemption they it's a first words event anything that ends up in this user variable and then it compares it against the list of bots in the data directory and if it finds a match it returns false and when an action returns false none of the sub actions after it continue even if you're calling that action from another action so to use this, you can import my iBreak for bots action and then use it in any action you want to ignore bots by just dropping it in at the top. You do actions, run action, and, th and then you select the iBreak for bots action. And then underneath that, you do whatever your actual action is going to do. So just to show you this in test, if I run my test command with my broadcaster account, you'll see that it actually ran the we got there command so that works every time but then if i run that test action with this account i'm logged in as flarebot here if i run test with that it doesn't do it you see that it doesn't do anything the requested use for this was in response to my first words thing where in platforms and twitch there's this first words event that you can tie an action to and greet new chatter for each session but it's annoying when uh, your bot says something and then your first words action greets the bot, which is totally unnecessary. So you can have this sub action set at the top of any action like that, and it'll just ignore it for bots. If you want to use this sub action, I have an import code down below and you can import it and then drop it in as a sub action to any of your actions and it should be good to go. Enjoy.